Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean off thermal paste from a CPU. Now, I've actually done this in a couple of my other videos on building a PC or replacing a motherboard, a fried motherboard in a PC, but I've never done a video explicitly just on cleaning off thermal paste. And the only reason I'm doing this is because a couple of you have asked me how to do it. So I think it would be great to have a standalone video on how to do this. And it's actually pretty simple to do. Let me show you. Now this here is my Asus Crosshair 4 Formula motherboard that I pulled out of my PC build and replaced with another motherboard. So right here I have my CPU here and it has some thermal paste on it. I'm going to remove that. So what you're going to need to do this, to clean off thermal paste off of a CPU, is a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, just your basic isopropyl alcohol you can get at any pharmacy or grocery store, a couple of Q-tips, and a paper towel. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can take a little bit closer look on this and see how it's done up close and personal. Okay, as you can see there's some thermal paste smeared on to the CPU there. Now the first thing I'm going to want to do is clean the majority of that off. So I'm going to grab my paper towel right here and I'm going to just rub the thermal paste off of the CPU here and try and get the bulk of it off. As you can see, it starts to come off. And as the name implies, it's got a paste consistency to it. And it's silver. There we go. Now I rubbed the majority of it off here on the paper towel and there's still little remnants on there. I want to get it really nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these Q-tips here and I'm going to dunk it into the isopropyl alcohol. So let me see if I can get it in the frame here. I'm just going to dip it in. I have the bottle tipped a little here. and as you can see here, there's a little alcohol on the tip there. Now I'm going to dab it off onto my paper towel here, just so it's not going to leak all over my motherboard. I just want a little bit of dampness there. And then all I want to do is just rub it across the CPU here to get the excess thermal paste off of it. And as you can see, it's coming off there. It's a very simple process. Now the only thing you want to make sure of is that when you're touching your motherboard that you're grounded. You don't want to, you know, send a static shock through any of the components. And you want to make sure that when you're rubbing off the thermal paste, especially when there's rubbing alcohol on your Q-tip, that it's not gushing with alcohol so you don't get any components wet. You're just using the rubbing alcohol basically to get the thermal paste off, basically to use it as a solvent. Okay. Now I got most of it off there, but I'm going to go with one more Q-tip. I'm going to dip it again in the alcohol and go one more pass on this thing just to make sure that it's nice and clean. I'm going to dab off my Q-tip again, make sure it's not gushing, and just get the remainder off of here. Make sure there's none on the sides here. There we go. Now the final thing I'm going to do is just take a clean paper towel and just wipe it off. And there we go. That's how you clean off thermal paste off of a CPU. So that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and I'll see you next time.